the Ace Magician mini PC was sent to me at no charge for the purpose of this review. This is actually my second mini PC. These things are super handy. I really like them. And uh, I want to show you some of the features that this one has on it. First, it's, it's a 5x5 five five box and, and it comes pre-installed with uh, Windows 11. And, uh, and I, literally, I just plugged this in and put in my information and it was ready to go. First thing I did was get a uh, wireless mouse and keyboard plugged in uh, so that I could use it. And what I wanted to show you here um, was what we have underneath the hood. And uh, to start that out, we're gonna go into our settings. Okay, so in our settings here, we're gonna look at our system and uh, you can change the display. You can have your regular light or you can go to a warm light for a night light, which is easier on the eyes, of course. Uh, you can change your, your scale, your resolution, your orientation, all of that right here. It, it's just simple to go with the uh, the recommended, unless you're doing some, some special tasks on there that you do need to change your resolution or the orientation from landscape to portrait. Uh, you can also connect multiple uh, displays to this if you want to. Uh, when we look into the, uh, the sound, you can uh, use the internal speakers. You can connect audio right here. There's an audio port. Uh, you also have a couple of USB drives, USB uh, 3.0, and then you've got a USB-C, HDMI in the back, LAN in the back. Uh, it does come with a, uh, an HDMI cable. It also comes with a mount, uh, so you can mount that on the back of your monitor or the back of your TV if you want to. Now there is uh, plenty under the hood here if you wanted to use this as a uh, an emulator and download a lot of the old school games like the N64, the Sega Genesis, uh, Playstations and things like that. They can all be installed on here as an emulator and uh, then you can play those with uh, with your Bluetooth. Um, you can play those with your Bluetooth controllers or your USB controllers. Uh, speaking of under the hood, we want to uh, we want to look at storage is number one. Uh, storage, you can see I have 439 gig left, which means that this is probably a 500 gig unit. And uh, the thing, what's really nice about this is that there are just four screws on the bottom side here. If you was to remove those, you can add uh, another hard drive to that. And you can take this up to a terabyte, two terabyte, whatever uh, whatever storage you, you choose to, uh, to add to this you got the uh, the cables to get that done so that's uh that's really nice to have that option there when we look down here in the about what we have here is an intel core i7 uh, 10810u cpu which is a 1.1 gigahertz with a 1.6 gig uh, installed ram is a 16 gigabyte you can connect things bluetooth if you'd like to right now i am uh, connected to wi-fi my router is upstairs so i'm quite a distance from that it was able to locate it, get me connected just fine. Uh, you, I've also got a Bluetooth printer upstairs. If I was to click that, I can click Add Device and see if it can find my printer upstairs. And then I'll be able to print uh, from down here up there. There it is. There's my HP DeskJet 2700. Uh, it says that it is not listed. It is not connected. So uh, uh, we're not going to do that right now. I'm just showing you some of the things that are available. So for all the apps that you're going to use, uh, you're going to have to download those. So I'm going to open up my Microsoft Edge is the first thing I'm going to do. And I'm going to find my Google Chrome because that's what I use most often. And uh, the Google Chrome will connect it to my other browsers and my other uh, devices like my other. Um, I got Google Chrome on this Ace Magician uh, mini PC. I got Google Chrome on my laptops upstairs. And so I'm just going to go ahead and, and download and install that. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and try some audio here and see what we think. And uh, as I've listened to just a little bit of this, the first thing that I would say is that uh, the volume is coming from my monitor, so it doesn't have an equalizer in it so I can uh, manage my bass and my treble and uh, get a good sound quality. I mean, if I'm here just watching videos or uh, a movie, the audio is just fine. I got it maxed out right now, so it's not terribly loud. I would be able to stay down here and do my, my work, listen to... Video, listen to music, watch videos, do whatever I wanted to do, and not disturb anybody upstairs. Uh, I do have an audio jack so that I can put headphones in when I wanted to. This is Bluetooth, so I can connect any Bluetooth speaker to it that I wanted to, and uh, then I can measure my uh, my treble and my bass and get those where I want them to be. Um, outside of that, uh, I think that this is going to be great. I love the idea of having uh, this portable. Uh, it does come with that HDMI cable, so I can hook it up to any monitor anywhere. Uh, just like a laptop and, and uh, uh, 
be able to take my work with me if I needed to and uh, be able to work outside of the home. Super convenient if you wanted to just connect it to the back of your monitor or back of TV and, and have it as a game emulator or uh, use, use it as your, uh, your streaming device for your, uh, for your Roku, your Amazon TV, or, and you know, won't have to be limited by the Fire Stick parameters or the Roku parameters. You can do whatever you want to on this and, and have all of those devices. Uh, you will need to uh, connect yourself uh, a keyboard and, uh, and some sort of uh, Bluetooth remote so that you can uh, access all of that. But hey, I think that it's absolutely incredible. It's great. Uh, people use these for so many different things. I'm going to be using it for work. You may want to use it as a gaming emulator or a streaming device for uh, for all of your movies and, and, uh, and what have you. But uh, super convenient. Definitely would recommend it. And uh, plug and play, ready to go right out of the box.